Angle beads are often found internally on external corners to prevent corner damage around doors, windows and on external exposed corners. These beads are often made from galvanised steel which can rust in certain conditions. This angle bead above this window has considerable rust on the left hand side. Unfortunately you cannot just paint over this, we are going to have to do something that is a little more difficult. To start with we need to remove any loose plaster and the plaster from the affected area. This will expose the rusty parts of the angle bead and will allow us to treat it. I'm using a sharp scraper to remove the plaster but you may need to use a hammer and a chisel if the plaster is too tough. Now I have removed the affected plaster, I'm giving the galvanised bead a brush with a wire brush. This will remove any loose particles. It's now time to treat the rust, so I'm using a small brush to apply a rust converter. This chemically changes the metal and enables it to be painted over once it has dried. When the rust converter has dried, I can then fill the damaged area. To do this, I'm using Jiprock Easy Fill 20. This is being applied using a filling knife so that it is flush with the surrounding area. Don't worry if you apply too much as this product can easily be sanded once it is dry. Now the filler is dried, it's time to give it a light sanding using a sanding block so that it is smooth and flush with the surrounding area. Wipe off any dust using a damp cloth. It's now time to prime the area, so I'm using Zinzer Cover Stain, which is a quality oil based product. You can now apply this with a brush or a roller, but ensure you feather out the edges if you are only patch priming the area. In this case the wall was going to be papered but then the person doing the papering decided it was too difficult and so I ended up painting the entire wall. Around the window I applied two coats of cover stain to cover up the deep green colour. Then I applied two coats of Zinzer Perma White. Once finished it looked like this. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel.